is the tail G D G W S reading challenge activity 2 prepared by Anubhav Siddha grade 3 Bhavavi Powdell grade 3 story title Goldilocks and the three bears as Goldilocks the uniter Long time ago, there was a big forest where all the animals lived together, helping and caring each other. They all were very happy being together. One day, a rabbit was playing and he saw a car with smoke coming out of it. He went near to the car. The car had an accident and the couples inside the car was dead. He saw a small baby girl playing in the car seat. He called everyone from the jungle at the place of accident. All the animals felt pity on the girl and decided to keep her with them. But the bear was against this decision. The lion asked, Why are you against of keeping this girl with us? The bear replied, I hate all the humans! Bye-bye! Asked the monkey. The bear replied, Long time ago, my parents were called by the humans for meat. They are very selfish. If we keep this girl with us, she also might harm us so. I'm not ready to keep her with us. But everybody in the forest had pity on the baby girl. They all decided to keep the girl with them. The bear was angry and he left the jungle with his wife. Everyone became sad of losing their friend. But all were happy of the little girl. The little girl had golden hair so they all named her Goldilocks. All the animals loved Goldilocks very much and she had become the life of everyone. She grew older day by day. One day all the animals were remembering the bear and talking about their friendship. She heard how the bears left the forest because of her. She decided to bring the bears back to the jungle. So, she went to find the bears and come out of the forest. Suddenly, she heard some babies crying. She went nearer, she saw a hut. And the sound was also coming from there. Goldilocks peeped from the window. She saw mommy bear was lying on the floor and her three baby bears were crying for the mother to get up. Goldilocks felt so pity and went inside to help them. She sprinkled water on mommy bear face and she became conscious. Goldilocks helped her to get into the bed. She made soup for mommy bear and some food for baby bears. They all had the food. Now mommy bear felt little good. She asked Goldilocks, Who are you and why you have come here? I am Goldilocks. I am from the forest where you used to live. I am here to take you all back to your home. Mommy Bear was happy to hear that but also frightened that it's time of Papa Bear to arrive because he hates humans. Mommy Bear also loved the behavior of Goldilocks and her babies were playing very happily with her and having fun. In the meantime, Papa Bear arrived home. Mommy Bear immediately asked Goldilocks to hide under the bed. I am home! Give something to eat! But when he entered the room, he saw his wife lying on bed. What happened to you? asked Papa Bear. Mommy Bear told everything that had happened. Papa Bear was pleased and wanted to thank the one who had helped his family. Mommy Bear 
said goldilocks please come out she came out when papa bear saw her he roared angrily why there is a you're in our house then mummy bear answered she's the one who helped us Not every humans are bad. Some are good also. She is one of them. Please thank her. <sighs> Papa Bear also realized that not everyone can be bad. The help that Goldilocks did was appreciable. So Papa Bear thanked Goldilocks. Goldilocks said, "Sir, I am the one because of whom you left your home and friends. I request you to come back to the forest with your family. Everybody in the forest is missing you. This time Papa Bear was also happy with Goldilocks so he decided to return back after a few days. Goldilocks along with bear couple and with the three kids returned to the forest. All the animals were very happy and thank Goldilocks they had a grand party and their togetherness all lived happily after all. Thanks for watching and thanks for giving us this opportunity.